Good afternoon, everybody. This is Pastor Dave coming to you from the entrance, the side entrance of the sanctuary. This is the back side of the parking lot or parking area. Actually, this will be where you park uh, when you come in here. But you're not going to be coming in this door necessarily. It's kind of going to be the emergency exit. We'll be telling you more about that in the days to come. But I want to welcome you officially. One week ago today, we had a lot going on here. We had cranes here. We had a lot of observers. We we're watching these buildings that are now, I am now standing in, and you're about to get your first tour officially. Last week, it was full of plastic and all this other stuff. It's all been removed. It's all been uh, basically watertight by this point. A few extra things we're trying to get accomplished before we can um, take all the next steps. But I want to welcome you to the sanctuary uh, where I will be standing. You know, the stage is going to be right behind me on a Sunday morning. So you're in the sanctuary right now. This is what it's going to look like. All of these walls that you are seeing are coming down. They now, like this is a good, good example, if uh, we can get a camera pointed in this room right here. This room, that's your, that's an exterior wall right there of the sanctuary. So there'll be some nice natural light still pouring in here. Uh, it will be great, but all of what you see is about to change. And it's very hard for all of you to understand like how this will become our church, but there are people who know how to do this and we're trusting them. But that all is the sanctuary. Eventually, you could leave that door and get into the next part of the building. I'll take you there in just a moment. All of these walls are coming down. So eventually, we'll be able to walk right over here and head into the rest of the building as well. This will be the back of the sanctuary. So it's a fairly good distance from here to the stage. And then we're going to take a walk over to here. Again, I could show you in every room, but it doesn't really matter because these walls are coming down. This is going to be one large room, about 2,100 square feet, that will be where we worship together. Then we will come over here. The hardworking guys every Sunday morning who I am grateful for, who oversee all of our live streaming, they will be operating out of this room right here, along with security. So the people who will be monitoring security cameras, um, and our wonderful treasurer team of counters and keeping count of all the resources that we get, they'll also be operating. So we got three purposes that this room will serve, a nice big room. You'll be able to see the stage from here. Uh, so again, it's hard for everybody to understand where it's all going, but it's happening. We've got cl a closet here, not super big, another closet here. All of right here becomes our bathrooms. This is gonna be a three bathrooms right here. And then each of, so we'll turn here. You see these two windows straight ahead? Those become a set of double doors. That's where you will be coming in. And then you can distribute whether you are dropping off kids or you're heading to uh, practice for worship or you are getting ready to set up for fellowship. This is going to be the primary area. Let's take a walk all the way over there right now. And it's amazing because you'll be looking out here onto the tent at some point. It's wonderful. So the tent will be there, and this will be the inside building. So, again, it's exciting. Lots, lots happening. Um, again, all of these, there's three of them. We could go back. We have three rooms this size right here. And one, two, and three will become... We believe kids' room, nursery, little kids, teens, not all in one room. <laughs> that would be dangerous. Anyway, uh, this is our awning that came off the back of the shed, and that's going to be going off in this door. It may change. It needs to be cleaned up quite a bit. Um, yeah, hey, welcome to Route 28, everybody. Um, so this is where we normally are. This is where the front door, and this is uh, exciting where at some point... Uh, We'll have a nice, easy entrance. And you know what's so exciting is that area is going to become a beautiful area for our kids' ministry. Again, here's another one of our children's rooms. We haven't had designated space for children. So I can't wait to see how God multiplies what needs to happen through reaching more families in this church. We are in the most visible location, really, for a church in the, in the entire town of Wareham. If you were to travel around right now and go try to find other churches, some of them are down roads, side roads, but look what God gave to us right across from Perry's, right across from a residential neighborhood. And I'll take you inside here because I look forward to having this as my office where I'll be able to see people coming right in. And we set up a little conference area now for some other discussions. And I just want to show you something. 
last weekend, we had an amazing thing take place. The second time in 48 hours, the Wareham uh, reporter came in. He was here on, um, on Thursday, and then he shows up. He, we talk on the phone. He says, what time is your event on Saturday? I said, well, that's an interesting question. If you're asking my, my event, you might be coming back. And he did. So page eight of today's Wareham week. You can get these at Stop and Shop or many places around the town. You see two, I mean, a whole page. Look at this. A whole page is devoted to last weekend's fundraiser and uh, our all the installation that was happening. And I look at this and I say, God, thank you for letting visibility happen through uh, the town. I mean, this, uh, there's, those are nice tributes. If you look at, if you read the stories, they're very fair. Like I told them, they reported it. I said, this is what we are doing. And it makes me realize and appreciate we are in the most exciting time a church could ever be in. We're, we're not just talking about building. I'm standing in the building that we talked about. It's when I meet with the architect on Friday morning, it's not just ideas on paper anymore. We're actually touching hard walls, looking at doors, trying to reallocate the space. We're finally here. And this is the time for Grace Lighthouse Church to be praying for all the ministries that we touch, from outreach to our children's ministry, to music ministry, to preaching ministry, to serving ministry. There's so many aspects that went into even last weekend with the fundraiser event. I mean, all the, all the areas of ministry connected with these events. We're already planning an October 25th, Friday night, chili cook-off. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, can't wait to tell you more about that. You'll learn on that about, about Sunday. So what I'd ask you to do, continue to search your own heart. Ask the Lord how he wants to use you in the most exciting days a church could ever be in. And I'm in inviting you to be a part of it. And really asking all of us to be praying for the unity of the Holy Spirit that we, we'd always remember everything happening here is about bringing people to Jesus Christ. Everything that we do here is about bringing people to him. And if we are united in that purpose, we can get more done. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we would ever ask or imagine according to his riches. And that's Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening.